going to bang a whole lot this morning because I'm going to start bringing you back. But I want the effort. And this afternoon is special teams. Anybody watch special teams last night? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Think we need to improve? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. That's a third of the game. But I am proud of your effort. Now, today is the day for we're going to try to do what? Get better, better. Get better. Get better than we were the other day. Nope. Hats on. Get your hats on and get ready. Get ready. On guard, you ready to go today? Yes, sir. Get some more reps? Yes, sir. How about you, Ironwood? Or Ironhead? Yes, sir. Right, get them up. Get them up. Get them up. Get them up in the air. We got a game Saturday, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. One, two, three. Oh, go boy. I'm Kyle Tierney from Cedar Rapids, Iowa, senior. I uh, play wide receiver and return kicks and punts. I mean, we're all so excited to get started. You work out for nine months, building up for the three months of the season, and you just kind of get tired of lifting and stuff. You want to hit somebody, so we're really excited, and he brings that excitement every day, so we're ready to go. Uh, it went really well. Um, I mean, compared to last year, we didn't, we didn't show up when they came here, and we had that scrimmage last year, so... I think we surprised them a lot, and we surprised ourselves, honestly. Um, we played a lot better than, than we have in the past, and that's just, it, it's built the excitement for next Saturday. We're really, really excited. Um, scored a couple times. Our defense really shut them down, honestly, their first team, and our special teams always needs work, but we look pretty good to start with. It's a good starting point to build off of. We run the spread, so, I mean, there's a tendency to pass more. The, the goal is to be balanced because, I mean, the run, run really sets up the pass game, so. That's our goal, but we'll do whatever we have to do to put points on the board. Alan Tierney is a senior, great kid. When I came in eight months ago, uh, you know, I told them what, what I wanted to accomplish, uh, asked them what they wanted to accomplish, and uh, he's been a young man, a local kid from uh, Cedar Rapids Jefferson uh, that's done everything I've asked, uh, worked extremely hard and very proud of and look to him for leadership. Nick Brodigan, uh, freshman from Dubuque, Iowa. Uh, kick returner and free safety. Uh, we're aggressive. Um, we're going to try to stop you in the run first um, and see what you can do with that, see, see what you counter with. Um, we're going to come up and hit you in the mouth. Uh, we're going to come up all day um, really aggressive. We're going to keep them on their toes, different coverages, um, start out of the base like we played against Augustana and work from there. Yeah, like Kyle said, you got your top three, Central Cone, Wartburg, um, year in and year out. Um, every year there's a, a sleeper team or two. Um, and then you have your teams, it's all balanced out, but on any given Saturday, anybody can beat anybody, and that's been proven in the past. And uh, hopefully we're one of those sleeper teams this year. Uh, it's a great experience. Uh, I've always dreamed of it as a little boy, my whole life playing for my dad, uh, growing up on the sidelines, seeing everything that went down. Um, I've always wanted to do it, and then uh, when, he, when he got this job, there wasn't a question. Uh, I transferred back at semester, and uh, we're moving forward. And um, doing what we've always wanted to. It's always been my dream to play for him. It is special. I mean, a couple years ago, I didn't think that would happen just because of uh, uh, the teams that were looking at him. And he did go away uh, up to northern Michigan and was fortunate enough to, to have a full ride there. But uh, I took this job over, and uh, it was his decision. Um, came back. It, it's special. Uh, I can tell you that I really don't co coach him a whole lot. Uh, I have other coaches who do who do do that. Coach Davis is the defensive coordinator, so uh, he takes care of him, and, and I do have my wife in my ear to to leave him alone at times. But uh, it is special, and it's my first year of being able to do it at this level. Um, and, and I've just heard coaches in the past talk about being able to coach their son or sons, and, and I get the opportunity to do it, and, and I'm very appreciative. It's great. I mean, we've had adversity, had the fire. Uh, I think in uh, all of two a days or pre fall camp, we've had two days where we've stayed on schedule. So we, we knew we were going to have to handle adversity, just didn't know it was going to be so soon. Uh, but the kids have done a great job, assistant coaches have done a great job. And uh, we've got a lot accomplished so far. It's a great league to be in, and, and any of these teams in our league have an opportunity to win any Saturday. Um, you know, like I've said prior, the top three uh, with, with Central, Wartburg, and Co. until they're beaten and, and knocked off that, that upper pedestal, um, I think uh, uh, people are going to look to them to come out of the league and maybe have an opportunity to win it. But, you know, as I said, I've, I've been in the league for eight years before now, and and on any given Saturday, the, the, the number one could end up the number three, and, and it's, it's a fun league to be in because there's, there's just that much parity now. Oh, it's great having Coach Miller. I mean, anytime you can get a man that has been around the game as long as he has, uh, he's probably forgotten more things that I know. 
but I, I heard he was going to retire, and I approached him and said, hey, your, your wife's probably not going to want you in the house all the time, so what do you think about this coaching thing? And he talked to uh, Ruth, and, and uh, now he's coaching. I think he's having fun. It's a great time. But, uh, you know, my last game my first year in the Iowa Conference was against him in his last game, and it's just nice to have him back and have those memories and some pictures laying around. But um, the one thing that was missing from Cornell football is having enough coaches around to teach. And I couldn't have a better teacher, and, and it's, we have a great opportunity to use his knowledge he has, and, and very excited about him as well as the other coaches I have on uh, Success is probably uh, not as much in wins and losses uh, because I don't put that on our kids, the number of wins they have to have. I think they understand that we want improvement every day. And going through that scrimmage uh, last week, um, they understand that we did improve. And if we keep doing that, we'll put ourselves in position to have an opportunity to win games. And uh, we go in every game knowing that if we do the right things, we can win. So we want to win, we're going to win, but uh, I want it done the right way. And with their work ethic, the one thing they do give me is 100% all the time. They, they work really hard and they practice hard, they play hard. So I'm excited to see what they can do this year.